Sackland team are going to do a tattoo tour today. I was going to do it in chronological order, in the order I got them done, but then the up and down my body, it doesn't really make any sense. So I think I'm just going to go top to toe. So first, Forza on my neck, it means power in Italian. I thought it was absolutely agony. Um, I know a lot of people get neck tattoos and don't think they're that bad, but I thought it was horrendous. It only took about 20 minutes, but it felt like it took five working days. That's not how I didn't get it filled in, no. I just never planned to get it filled in. I thought it was more artistic that way. Um, <laughs> next, I've got a song that me and Ava like in Italian. Uh, we listened to it on our first date, and we still listen to it quite a lot. So it's that song uh, with Ava's name in it as well. And then I've got Ava's name in the back of my neck. It was a guest artist that done that for me. And uh, they really fucked it up, so luckily that's a really good artist, I know he fixed it, so all good. This, um, a lot of people think that it's matching, but it's not. Ava had it first and then uh, I just stole it, so uh, I just like to wait until I stole it. But they say different things, hers is song lyrics and mine's is like a Machiavelli quote. Arms, so a lot of my tattoos, like they're all well done, but a lot of them I probably wouldn't get anymore just because I've probably grown them a wee bit, so I think... Once like, I'm completely covered, I'd probably get some of them covered up. Not because I don't think they're good, just because I've outgrown them a wee bit. Like, some of them are gangster stuff and stuff like that that I thought was cool when I was younger, but now um, I just don't really. Right arm. All this stuff on my right arm is Italian themed. So that's Lucky Luciano. He was a Sicilian gangster. And just above him is the flag of Sicily. That's Rocky Marciano. He was an Italian boxer. And... Fabio Cannavaro at the back. He was the Italy captain when they won the World Cup. A very veiny left forearm. Is a uh, Bill the Butcher for Gangs of New York. And we've got Tommy Shelby there, Killian Murphy. I've got Angelina Jolie. It's weird, I've got, just see in a minute, I've got another Peaky Blinders tattoo, but I'm not even really a big Peaky Blinders fan. I think it's good, but I got Tommy and Arthur just because I think they've got really interesting faces. I like things for that period of time, uh, and I think it looks really cool. Upper right arm, I've got Robert De Niro in The Godfather 2. To my right arm, it's just a Sicilian landscape. Left arm, I've got Floyd Mayweather. We've got Arthur for Peaky Blinders. Zoe Kravitz, I guess you just get a really good face and I don't know it would turn into a good tattoo. And on my chest, I've got The Death of Socrates, it's a French painting. I was reading a lot of philosophy books at the time and I thought it was also oh, deep. So yeah. Uh, um, that's why I got that. that. That was really sore. I think it took a couple of sittings. And I feel like I had the flu after it. I don't know if anybody sits for like really long tattoo sessions, but after like three, four hours, your body starts to go into shock. And I just felt like I had the flu. I felt horrendous after it. On my stomach, I've got, it's just like an Indian god. I stole that off of Stephen James, that who is Elijah, the model. I just stole it straight off him. That was agony. That was definitely my most painful tattoo. It was like three eight hour sessions and it was horrific. Everybody thinks the bone is the sore part we're getting tattooed, but it's not. It's all the sinewy soft parts. It was fucking agony. Done in Dubai. Uh, if anybody lives in Dubai or spends a lot of time there, you'll know that tattoos aren't technically street legal, so I had to get it done in the download. Eggs, I've got, that says Romeo and Amore. Uh, Romeo was my dog. Uh, he was a lot older. I had him when I was growing up and he passed away. So that is like the first place I got tattooed. and. Um, I'll probably get it covered up eventually, like, it's okay, the work's okay, but I think it could be better and it's kind of fading a wee bit now, so um, once I've got everything else done, I'll, I'll probably get that covered up. Uh, on the front there though, that's me and my sister at Disneyland, I think she was one and I was three, so that's quite cute. There's the flag of Trapani, I see. a city in Italy, um, that's the Archangel Michael kicking the devil out of heaven. I just got it because his name is Michael, and again I thought it was cool at the time, but probably not now, and I'm not religious, I just got it because his name is Michael. I can clock the time I was born. Yeah, that's my favourite tattoo, it's Ava's face, obviously. I just think it's so well done. I was worried when I got it that it wouldn't be great, but I think it's amazing and I think it'll probably always be my favourite tattoo, just because Ava's my favourite person. Bellucci on my right calf, she's an Italian actress, and again, I just thought her face would tattoo really well. And that's it, that was fast, which is ironic because tattoos take forever. I'll end up covered eventually. I've still got my back and most of my thighs to do, but I will end up covered eventually, apart from my face. I'm actually looking for a new tattoo artist as well, so if you or anyone you know is a top tier black and grey artist, hit me up. Cheers guys.